What's up, mahusay? I am Sir Jude Michael Imperial of Quantum Chronicles. In this video, we are going to learn about the particle nature of matter, expanding the concept about solids, liquids, and gases. Are you geared up for today's lesson? If you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and hit the notification button to keep you updated. Alright, let's dive in! In our previous discussion, we talk about the different models that scientists are using in presenting the information gathered from their experiment. Models are any depiction of a concept, an item, a procedure, or a system that is used to characterize and explain events that are not immediately observable. Scientific models, however, are the simplified representation of a real-world phenomena. These models may be classified into physical, mathematical, conceptual, and computational. When you were in your elementary levels, you were taught that matter has three phases, solids, liquids, and gas that reacts differently based on their particles. However, there are five states of matter, solids, liquids, gas, plasma, and Bose-Einstein condensate. In this section, plasma which is considered the fourth state of matter and exists only at the relatively high temperatures like the particles in the surface of the sun as well as most Einstein condensate that comes from relatively cold atoms that clump together will be excluded from the discussion. Once we say matter, this is anything that occupies space and has mass. These are substances made up of various types of particles that are constantly moving. The particles are a small portion of matter. It can change in size from larger subatomic particles. On the other hand, any characteristic that can be measured such as an object's density, color, mass, volume, length, malleability, melting point, hardness, odor, temperature, and more are considered properties of matter. The particle model illustrates the differences and commonalities of solids, liquids, and gases in terms of volume, shape, compressibility, and density or molecular arrangement among others. So, what are the description of the particles of each matter and their properties? In solids, its particles are strongly bonded to each other. It vibrates a little but not too much compared to liquids and gases. Solids also vibrate faster when heated. This is because the particle expands in size which is the very reason of melting for plastic and expansion in metals. For its properties, it shows a definite shape, does not flow easily, it also possesses being impossible to compress due to certain hardness, and it expands when heated either through melting or sublimation. Next, we have liquids. Liquids have no definite shape. They can flow to take the shape of the container and are difficult to compress or virtually incompressible. Its particles are weakly bonded with each other and break their bond easily. Liquid particles also move faster when heated, which is why the water boils under a high temperature. Last state of matter is gas having no fixed shape. Gases spread or diffuse to completely fill a container. Unlike solids and liquids, gases are easily compressed. The particles of gases are free, having no bonds between them. They also have much more energy than those of a solid or a liquid. Particles of gases fly around, bouncing off each other and to the walls of their container. Talking about the different properties, solids have an ordered molecular arrangement in fixed position and their particles are very close to each other. In appearance and ability to flow, solids are hard, rigid, and do not flow. It also has definite volume and shape. Solids also have a slower rate of motion of molecules to move to higher concentration, which we call diffusion. Liquids, on the other hand, have this ordered molecular arrangement where particles are free to move and are somewhat close to each other. It also flows easily unlike solids. It has definite volume unless it takes the shape of the container. Liquids also have a slow rate of diffusion within the liquids. Next is gases, which are disorderly arranged in molecules than of solids and liquids. The particles are far apart and they move easily in the empty space. It is easily compressible and has a fast rate of diffusion within gas. Again, matter is made up of discrete particles called atoms or their combination called molecules or compound. 
at the most basic level, matter consists of atoms. These atoms can band together to form molecules. For example, a water molecule or H2O is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Did you enjoy today's lesson? See you again next time. I am Sir Jude Imperial saying, Maniwala at magtiwala na ikaw ay mahusay. Thank you and God bless.